Hi, I'm Jing Chen. I'm the software architect in Tree Editors Lab in UC San Diego. Today, I'm going to present the project we have been working on, the Network Data Exchange project. Today's presentation has three sections. First section is about the features we offer from Index. After that, I'm going to talk about a new application we developed using Index resources. At the end, I'm going to go over different ways to collaborate with Index. Index is an online commons for biological networks. This is the homepage of Index website. It has a search bar at the top, a featured content panel to highlight some of the content in Index, and also have a direct entry point to Index iQuery application. A user can always use Index to find and view public networks as an anonymous user if they want to store, modify, and share networks or access protected resources index, they will need to sign in to the system. How do we store networks in index? Each network is stored as a text file in a special format we call CX. It is a format we developed together with the Cytoscape team. One big advantage of this format is that it makes a network interoperable in the Cytoscape ecosystem. CX follows the JSON specification, which means it can be easily read or write by many programming languages. We do not enforce any schema on node or edge data in CX. Optionally, CX can contain information about network visualization. CX can store rule-based data-driven styles, and they are compatible with Cytoscape. It can also store the layouts of a network. CX is extensible. Data are partitioned into aspects in CX. It is designed in a way that new aspects can be easily added to your network. Here is an example of an index network. A user can set up sophisticated rule-based visualization styles on many of the visual properties on a network, like node size, node border color, edge color, edge arrow shape, etc. On the right-hand side are the metadata panel, which displays the metadata of a network, like title, description, owner, creation, and modification time, etc. Here is an example of another network in index. It is a hierarchy of 395 protein systems that are muted in one or more cancer types. You can see it has a totally different layout and visualization styles from the network in the previous slide. The layout of this network reflects the hierarchical structure of this network. There are many obvious use cases for end users. Today, I'm going to focus more on use cases for developers and hope this will inspire more developers to build applications using Index and collaborate with us. So the three major use cases are find networks, publish networks, and integrate networks in your application. There are many ways to find networks from Index. Users can come to the site and type in the search term in the search box. They can also click on the latest network button to browse the database, and they can also use the featured network dropdown to see the highlighted networks from Index. If you deposit novel networks to index, the featured content panel and the featured network list are good places to promote them. If you want to promote your networks, please contact us and we'll be happy to promote them for you. Other than using the UI, a user can use our client library to find networks programmatically through the index REST API. Here is an example of using Index to disseminate networks in a computable format. This page is from a collaboration between Civic and Index. Civic has an organizational account in Index, and they have four networks in it. These networks are used in a couple of our analysis. Each account in Index has a description field for users to describe their organization and publish the data set they have in their account. 
In this example, Civic has a hyperlink in their description to redirect the users to the main Civic website. I've mentioned Index API earlier. Now I want to show an example of how to use Index Client Library to access Index API functions. This example is written in Jupyter Notebook. In this code example, first, we're going to create a client object by connecting it to one of our server. Then I use this client object to do a search in index to find some relevant networks. Index search engine is implemented using Solar, so we can support full losing index in the search string. Next, I will use the client objects get neighborhood function to get the neighborhood around a particular gene in the network I found, and then print some information about the neighborhood. After that, I will create a nice CX object from the query result. Nice CX is a simple data model in our client library. User can perform some basic operations on that object. For example, convert a network into a panda data frame. Here is the output when a query result is converted into data frame. If you have a network in CX format, you can also render it in Jupyter Notebook using our Jupyter Notebook plugin. It is very simple to do that. You simply just call the cytoscape function, pass in the data, and tell the function which format the data is in. The network will be rendered below that cell in an interactive way. User can move those nodes around, zoom in, zoom out to inspect the data in that network. In the next section, I would like to talk about a new application we developed on top of Index Infrastructure, Index iQuery. iQuery is a pathway-based gene set analysis tool. It can help users to find relevant pathway networks from Index. The query result is organized in four tabs. Users can flip through these tabs to view the result. Users can choose their own ways to rank the result in the tab. When a user click on an item in the result list, the network is displayed in the right-hand panel. All the matching query genes are highlighted in the displayed network by default. Let's go through these tabs one by one. The Curated Pathway tab aggregates curated pathways from multiple sources. We worked together with Wiki Pathways project and included 675 curated human pathways and 11 cancer hallmark networks into iQuery. Pathway Interaction Database is a dataset that has been maintained by us. It was originally created by NCI. It contains about 200 manually curated human pathways. Last year, we released the 2.0 version of PID. This new version augmented the original version by adding new edges that we assembled from the Indra database. Indra is a database project led by our collaborator Ben Gorey in Harvard. INDRA stands for Int Integrated Network and Dynamical Reasoning Assembler. It is an automated model assembly system. CNUR is a data source about causal interactions between proteins and other entities. iQuery has 90 networks from this data source. The Pathway Figures tab is the result of a major collaboration between INDEX and the Pathway Figure OCR Open Science Project from UCSF, led by Alex Pico. This data source has over 30,000 gene sets in it. Each gene set is extracted from a published pathway figure using OCR. Index is their main data repository. In this tab, users can view the relevant pathway, pathway figures, read the description, and follow the link in the right-hand side to go read the paper if they want. The Indra Go tab has more than 6,000 networks for small Go biological process terms. This is also a result of a collaboration between Indra project and us. In each of the Indra Go networks, the nodes 
come from gene set in a small go term. The edges between the nodes summarize the high confidence relationships between those genes in Indra database. From the UI, the user can click an edge. The pop-up window will display a list of relationships the Indra found between these two gene nodes. User can click on any of the evidence link. The iQuery application will redirect that user to Indra website. This is an example of an Indra page. From here, user can further investigate the relationships between those two genes. The Interactome tab contains a selected set of large protein-protein interaction networks stored in Index. In this tab, users can see how many of the query genes are found in each network. This page is also configurable. If you have a high-quality Interactome, we can add it to this iQuery tab. In this page, you can click on the search button at the bottom and it will bring you to the Index website. This is the query result page a user will see after they click the search button. It shows the interactions among the query genes. In this page, users can do more things. They can choose to run a different type of query in Index. In Index, we can support six types of queries. They can also choose to save the query result or open the result in Cytoscape desktop application. In the next section, I'm going to share a couple of examples of integrating iQuery with third-party applications. Last year, we worked together with the Cibao Portal team and embedded iQuery into their web application. This is what iQuery looks like in Cibao Portal application. What they embedded is a special version of iQuery. It only has one tab, which only contains cancer-related pathways in index iQuery is customizable. You can have a fair amount of control on the features you want to customize when you embed iQuery in your application. Here is another example of integrate index with your web application. We collaborated with M6DB and implemented a two-way integration between M6DB and index. This is a screenshot of M6DB search page and from here, you can see at the lower right corner, there's a query index button in their page. When a user click on this page, the user will be redirected to the iQuery application. As you can see, the search box is automatically populated with the gene symbols in the M6DB search page, and the search is also triggered automatically. This screen is an example of link to M6DB from Index. This is a DNA damage response assembly map in Index. Each node in this network is a subsystem. Each subsystem has an attribute called proteins. Its value is a set of genes. If a user wants to run an analysis of this gene set in M6DB, the user can go to the Query external database panel on the right hand side, choose the M6DB database as a source, select protein as the data column, and then click on the query. That user will be redirected to the M6DB site. This is what the user will see after the click. The gene set is populated to the search box. From here, user can continue their gene set analysis in M6DB. Here, I'm just going to summarize the ways of working together with Index. First, you can always use Index in your apps or scripts. You can use Index to find reference networks. You can query those networks using our public API to get network neighborhoods or to export node table. If your application or pipeline generate data, you can always store those data in index, then share and publish them online and also visualize them in index. If you have your novel applications, services, or algorithms that you want to integrate into index, we can work together with you to integrate them into our 
infrastructure. You can also collaborate with us on iQuery. If you have some novel pathway set, you can add them into iQuery. We can work together with you to add them as new networks into the curated pathway tab or create a new tab just for your web data set. If you have your novel interactomes, we can also add them into the interactome tab in iQuery. Besides contributing your data into iQuery, you can also integrate iQuery in your application. You can embed iQuery to your application like what the Bow Portal does. You can also link to iQuery from your application like what M6DB does. One other thing I want to point out is that iQuery also has its own set of REST API functions. You can use them directly in your program and integrate iQuery into your data analysis pipeline. That concludes my presentation today. We would like to thank all our collaborators for their contribution to the project. We also want to thank our funding agency ITCR for providing fundings for the project.